All you, baby. Yeah, baby! Woo! There you go! There you go! Knocking them dead! What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Bobby Guy Films. Today, my friends, we are talking about duck calls. And if you need to just clean them, or if they need retuned, or if you need to replace the guts, or if you just need to throw the dang thing away and get a new one. So before we get started, I want you all to go drop a comment below. Tell me what your favorite double or single reed duck call is. I'm kind of looking for a new call this year. I want something really nice. I have a few companies picked out. But uh, with your guys, I always get good uh, I always get good advice from you guys, so uh, let me know down low. But first off, before we get started, if you're a new viewer, if you want good waterfowl tips, I'll be doing them all summer. And uh, I do big waterfowl hunting, ducks, geese, field hunts mainly. If you, if you want waterfowl hunting, you come my way, I'll serve you right on up. But today, real quick, is about the single reed duck call. Uh, cleaning it first of all, a simple cleaning without tearing it apart. And then actually tearing it apart, cleaning it, inspecting it, and then reassembling it. Today I'm not going to replace any of the guts in these calls in this call in particular, but I will uh, have a video series coming where we actually, at the, geez, I can't talk today, we'll actually be uh, replacing the guts of these things and putting all brand new internals in them so they sound brand new. So you're sitting in the field hunting, you're squawking your call, and you're like, what the heck, this thing sounds raspy or it sounds like the reed's stuck or something. First thing I tell you to do, just blow back through the end of it. <sighs> Try to clear it out, any, any debris that's in there. So blow, reverse through the chamber, see if you can clear it out. If that don't work, throw some water on it or dip it in the pond. <laughs> blow back through it again, see if you can clean it out. So next you're in the field and uh, you're like, okay, I'm just going to pop this sucker apart. Notice mine is very, very dirty, if that'll focus. Very dirty. I uh, haven't touched it since last year. Uh, look under the reed, lift the reed up a little bit, see if you got any big chunks of debris in there. If you can, rinse that out. I do have some sand and dirt in there. So I might slide a dollar bill up through here in between the reed and the uh, acrylic. But uh, if that don't work, then I'll bring it home and we'll tear it apart. So what I mean by tearing it apart, guys, it's real simple. Let's just take it apart. Now, you have your cork in here. That's our, that's our piece that holds it all together. I'm just going to use this screwdriver and I'm going to push it out a little bit till it pops open. See it pop open? I'll take everything out. So now I have my cork and I have my whatever material they call this, but my reed. And now I'm just going to wipe it off real good. Might put it in some hot water or whatever. But with these things, you got to bend them. So so see what way this thing bends. Whatever way bends down, or whatever way it bends, that goes down. Put it down like that. I'm going to go wash this sucker out because as you can see, if you can focus there for good sakes, there you go. It is filthy. So I'm going to go clean that off in the sink real quick. As well as my reed. Now I went and washed everything off. So first off, I'm going to check which way my reed bends. It's been that way, so that way is going to go down dog ears out so I'm gonna seat my reed all the way up against the back of the chamber there I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna wet it down a little bit put it in your mouth and get some saliva on it really just to soften it up now you want to put it back in how you take took it out so very nicely here here's my cork I'm gonna push it back in there Center it up real nice. Make sure your reed is centered and all the way back. You take a screwdriver, a small screwdriver. I put it in or right in front of the cork. I'll pull it back, make it real nice and tight. And that sucker is back together and should sound a hair better. Now before I always put these back together, I always put a little saliva on this O-ring. Just because O-rings tend to... Uh, get worn out and if they're dry man that was nasty I had some spit on my finger sorry about that y'all if uh, they're dry you can rip that o-ring so let's see it oh boy yeah I can really 
definitely screech that call. I can almost screech it too high every time and almost outblow that thing. But uh, there we go today. Hope you guys enjoyed the single reed duck call. Go on to the next one because next time I am doing a double reed. And after that, it's going to be a goose call. So go check them out, y'all. Go subscribe for more waterfowl tips and how-tos and fowl Fridays. Every week there's a fowl Friday and it uh, comes up about noon. So you can stay tuned for that and tell your mama about that and tell your Uncle George about that and tell everybody you can. Come on back, y'all. Have a good one. Peace.